So here, here you are here, and obviously there's a lot of good recovery in your part. I've seen you swim before in the past. There's a lot of stuff you do well, but you work too hard, and the distance isn't a problem. I can see that. Uh, club face is squared up behind the ball, not a problem there. Ball centered in your stance, not a problem there. The alignment of your body, even though your left foot's slightly ahead of your right, a little bit of a closed foot position, uh, the rest of your body is lined up in a complementary manner. What the issue is is that golf shaft got lower and lower. And I like that shaft angle to be raised up, so when you set the club, it's almost at your navel, the butt end, and then you're able to step closer, stay taller, better balanced, and better connected with every golf club. It's this distance that varies as you go to driver, wedge, fiber, it doesn't matter. You shouldn't vary your positioning. So you'll stand taller, prouder, and better balanced every single time. And as you mentioned yourself, that last little move is that little trigger move of kind of getting that hip a little bit forward so that you anchor that right instep of that foot. Because that's your key. That stays planted and you just wind the top half with resistance. Tremendous power with half the effort, trust me. I couldn't hit 35 drivers the way I did yesterday if I was fighting. I'd probably be walking around like I was in a, you know, a body cast, basically, but a lot less effort. Take away. You take it back, you always take it back well with your arms and hands. The club's going back in a pretty good angle path. Then the club from there rises up, but you can see a lot of weight rolling to the outside of that foot, right? So that left knee goes forward a little bit, the right foot tends to come off the ground a wee bit. It's not resistant enough. And then coming back down, you're going to have to replant it. So here comes the club from the top of the swing. I don't mind you've overswung, not a problem. You're going to bring it back down. Now you get the, the knee, the weight on the instep, and then you got to kick in, extend the arms through, and then power it through. That's all timing, right? If we're off a little late or off a little early, that's going to affect direction and contact from there. So we get that right foot to remain planted at all times, and you turn into it, and then push off and release it naturally. Right? And your trigger move you mentioned to me, that's a good little one for you to have. That kind of activates the motion you want to achieve. And just keep that going for all your shots.